And lastly, I'm going to just mention some of the cool effects on the brain. So hyperthermic conditioning has been shown to have very profound neuroendocrine effects um, and other effects on the brain. It's been shown in both men and women to increase uh, not only the release of norepinephrine, but uh, the storage of norepinephrine so that you can later release it. And norepinephrine um, helps with focus and attention. So um, I think that's kind of cool. It also increases prolactin. Um, it increases in both men and women, but really um, profoundly seems to increase prolactin in women. And prolactin has been shown to be important for myelination. Um, and myelination is uh, very important for a lot of reasons. Um, it also helps the connections between your neurons so that your brain can function faster. And um, lastly, it increases the expression of brain-derived uh, neurotrophic factor, so BDNF. Um, which is important for neurogenesis, so growing new brain cells. Um, and also, it's important to enhance learning and memory. So um, these are just sort of a brief uh, overview of some of the cool effects that hyperthermic conditioning has on your brain. And uh, there you have it, people. So what you eat, uh, your diet, particular micronutrients in your diet, can change the expression of your genes. How much exercise you do if you're stressed, uh, how stressed you are, and also even things like heat stress, hypothermic conditioning, these can all change the expression of your genes, and the changing the expression of, the, of these genes can affect both the way you age, so your longevity, but it can also affect your performance in the case of uh, endurance enhancements. 